Hello guys, Account Receivable Aging is a periodic report that categorizes a company's account receivable according to the length of time an invoice has been outstanding. Accounts Receivable Aging is a critical management tool as well as an analytic tool that helps determine the financial health of a company's customer and therefore the health of their business. So today I'm going to share a few quick tips with you guys to see how quickly you can make your own aging report on the basis of raw data, for example, I have here from the tools. It can be Oracle, it can be SAP, you get a list of invoices and that you quickly make your aging without having a trouble of going into another process, which can be cumbersome. So um, just let's play with this data over here. I have a rough data where I have customer numbers or customer reference, it can be customer names, then the invoice numbers that we submitted to the customers, the dates of the invoice and the invoice amounts. Now, one very important thing is that invoice date is not what's, what's going to determine that how long it has been outstanding and what was the criteria to ascertain that it's an outstanding uh, overdue. So for that reason, I'll have to add one more column over here. And uh, let me add one column here, which should be due um, date. So the due date, for example, uh, with my customer had a contract uh, with the payment terms of 30 days. So if I have a 30 day payment contract term, which means after 30 days of invoice date, these invoices were due. So there's a simple formula for this. So I will take this invoice uh, plus 30 days. So when I do this, I got due date, which is now here. So it should have been paid by this date, which is here. You can see in the, uh, let's say the blue column. So due date was the date when they were supposed to pay. Now, I will also um, take some more information from this information. Uh, that is days overdue. So how many days it has been that it's overdue as of now? We're talking of about as of now. So what I'll do is I will take an is equal to, I will take this, um, rather I will not take this, I will take today's date. So formula, if you remember it, uh, today, yes, minus uh, the due date. So these are the days, I will simply go and change the format of the data, which is the number. So these are the days it has been overdue. So the invoices have been overdue for multiple days multiple amount of number of the day so this is the information i think uh, quite enough now for us to make a quick analysis uh, which is how we call it an account receivable aging report <clears throat> so for the first thing you have to do is to go to insert and take a pivot table option uh, remember i'm not selecting all the data if your data is fine there is no empty columns it will automatically select all your data so simply press recommended table and now I can see a few recommendations here from Excel itself um, I think this is a good recommendation where I can see customer code um, or the customer names along with the invoice that is the invoice amount so I will simply press ok and you can see that uh, Excel has selected all the columns that I have prepared so now we don't have any problem with the data over here so the first thing that we have to do is we have to take some aging information in the table. So the aging information is either due date or uh, <clears throat> the days overdue. So first we'll try with the due date and then we'll move to the days overdue as well. So due date, just drag it into columns. So there are quite a lot of due dates I can see. Whoa, it's quite a, quite a long list of data. So simply click on one of the dates, due dates over here and now click right click when you right click on this you can see a group option again you go on to this dates due dates and this click on right click and you find this grouping click on the grouping and you have quite a lot of information here this is automatically picked the starting date and the end date so these this is the range of the dates that is included in all this column for us due date column so don't worry about this one um, just come down here by by means what kind of subcategories you want to see what kind of splits you want to see so for example I make it a split of quarters here or let's rather make it a year split so these were due in 2016 and these were due in 2015 so you can see both the due dates here if you want to further go down and you want to drill it down to quarters you can make it like this so these are quarter one two three four quarterly overdue 
um, analysis. You can even take it to monthly. So if you go to the groups, you have this monthly. So simply select monthly and it can show you how much amount was due in these months. Okay, now what we are looking for, for is a due date aging, which is like, for example, how much amount is uh, overdue for a customer from 0 to 30 days, 30 to 60, 60 to 90, and so on and so forth for a customer. So that is usually um, a way we look forward into the data. So I'll remove this uh, due date and rather I'll go to this days overdue. Again, I will pick it into the columns over here. Again, there's a big mass of the data. So we need to contain this data now. So simply again, right click on one of the days OD grouping. Now it's asking for the grouping starting from zero to 375. This is the range of the due days we have. And uh, what we want to see is buy. This is very important. Buy means that what do you want to set the day limit to a category? For example, it is starting from zero and what should be the next one? I think let's say 31. So each 31 days or rather 30 days, there will be a subgroup. So we'll have a zero to 30, then 30 to 60 and so on and so forth. So let's see how it goes. There we go. So we have 0 to 29 here, then 30 to 59, then 60 to 89, and so on and so forth. You can see all these categories over here and the data down there. So how much was overdue uh, for this customer in these categories? So you can see that there are a few customers who are going with the regular um, kind of aging, two of them, and the other two uh, it seems like they are, they are no more in business but we have some data coming up from the past overdues so this is the way you can quickly make yourself an aging report and analyze the data and your customers quickly guys i hope it was interesting and useful for you looking forward to talk to you again thank you very much bye bye